Hi there, back again. I just wanted to give a quick demonstration of using Logger with some very simple searches just to do some very simple investigation and how you would go about just doing some simple searches as part of that process. So I'm just going to go ahead and log into my test system that I have here. Uh, so we'll just let it log in there and it takes us straight away to the dashboard page, which is great. Uh, I just want to go to the uh, search interface for a second, so I'll just jump it straight into the Analyze tab. And I just want to run through some scenarios of how you'd go about just doing some simple searches. Uh, it just presents a very simple interface now. Of course, I can just type a term. So in this case, I can just do Windows uh, and just hit Return, and it's going to do a search. Great. There we go. There's some uh, Windows search hits for us. We can see there's a whole bunch load there. In fact, if I just hover over these and just... Click and you can see the split and breakdown of the various different types and different vendors that are generating Windows events. The interesting thing here is that I'm getting events from anything that contains Windows. I've actually done a free text search there. So I can see some events from Windows. I can see some old events from an IntruShield uh, system there. I can see some different tipping point events. Um, so I actually haven't done anything. It's just an open free text search on any field. And it's just quickly returned that. In fact, I've seen 3,000 plus hits there. What I probably want to do is I want to tie this down. So rather than just doing a free text search, I want to tie this down to a particular field. So what I could do is device product equals, and I can see it from the window already. I can just do Microsoft Windows. I just do that search, and hey presto, I'm now down to 2,300 events, but now it's just Microsoft Windows events. Okay, that's interesting. There's a whole load of event information in there. I can see lots of information. I can see lots of categorization that describes what's going on. So I've got some information, I've got some, some data in there. But okay, I can expand that search a little bit further, so I could I could actually start to understand a little bit more of what's going on. So of course, by just literally starting to type, it's actually giving me some search history there. Uh, what I can do now is I can actually, I, I want to know a little bit more what's going on uh, with some of this categorization. So I can see here this category, category behavior. So I can do, actually let's just put that capitals and that refers to uh, an authentication attempt. So we can just see all login attempts on Windows events, nice and simple. So there's all Windows login events. Okay, fair enough. So now actually I want to, I want to dig down into this a bit more detail. So we can see the whole bunch of successes, but I actually want to see login failures. Now that's actually quite interesting. So and category outcome equals slash Oops, a bit tight. Failure. So now we're just looking in for login failures. Oh, look, now we're down to 35. Now we're getting some, some interesting events. So I scroll across here, I can see all these authentication verified, login failures. See how everything's highlighted for us as well, so that's great. Uh, if I actually go a little bit further across, there's a whole bunch load of information in there uh, for additional categorization, additional information around the event itself. But I'm actually interested if I just scroll across here. Uh, source username, so the username that's been used here. So you can see it's all broken out now. So, so I just want to very quickly visualize this, very quickly understand what's going on. I could just go, uh, I could do a pipe and do top uh, source user name. Give me the top 10 source usernames of login failures. And there we go, there's a chart. Uh, in fact, what I could do is I could save that, I could save as a search, I could see what's going on, uh, and put that in the dashboard and so on. Very simple. But actually now I'm, I'm interested, so I'm, I've seen a bit of an anomaly here. You can see that the administrator here is, is 24 login failures. That's a little bit interesting. I need to understand what's going on here. So actually what I can do is I can just click the chart and it will drill down on there and drill down onto the administrator. Okay, uh, that's interesting. So there's uh, been 24 login failures in the last 10 minutes of uh, username administrator within my Windows systems. Ooh. Okay, need to understand a little bit more what's going on here. Uh, let me try and do a little bit more of a drill down. So, what we could, okay, now what we can do is we can actually put that into a chart. So, again, I can pipe that. So, I can do chart. Uh, notice again, it gives me suggestions here. So, I'll do count by source address. 
So I just want to count them by the source address. So where are they all coming from? Oh, in fact, that's interesting. Almost all of my login failures for administrator are coming from the same source address. And again, I can just click down and drill into these individual events. And now I can start getting to, to that important thing uh, of what's actually going on with these particular events. I can scroll across and see various bits of data recorded. So I've actually gone from an open search right away through using free text right away down into using uh, the, the categorization to understand right away down to an investigation to understand what's actually happening with these particular login failures on an individual system and the base events that have gone. That can down to 17 events which I can now display on one screen rather than the 3000 plus that I had before. Again, what I could do is I could save that as a search, I could save the name, I could save it as a filter on the search, I can even schedule it for later use if I wanted to, uh, to trigger an alert accordingly. So I've actually got a very sophisticated way of doing things, very powerful, just a very quick introduction and demonstration on some of the things we can do around searching. Thank you very much.